Hi everyone, I just wanted to go over some of the policies and procedures that we're following here at Murata Plastic Surgery Specialists to keep you safe during the pandemic. I'm going to go over some of the entry procedures for gaining entry to the facility. Our number one goal obviously is to keep you as our patients safe uh, in the time of the pandemic as well as our, our employees. So we have a lot of the strict procedures and protocols that we need to follow uh, in order to do that. So the very first thing Anybody who gains entry into the facility is going to have to fill out a wellness check. And a wellness check is going to be texted to you on your cell phone. So when you get to the facility, you arrive, you give us a call, we'll be texting you a wellness check. And that includes screening questions regarding your symptoms, making sure you have no fever, shortness of breath, or nor did anyone you have come in close contact with have any of those symptoms, or you haven't traveled somewhere, etc. So once we get that wellness screening back, We'll give you a call or a call or text back and say it's okay to approach the facility and then you're going to be met by a screener so i'm going to play the role of the screener today the screener of course will have all the protective gear on and so i'm going to demonstrate what the screener will look like when you come to our front door so once you've performed your your wellness check and we've uh, verified on my telephone that i received it from you as a patient and i'm sure that you have no signs or symptoms of covid you have to have any fever, you have no chest pain, shortness of breath, uh, you know, bluish lips, fingers, or nor anybody in your family has come in contact, nor you have you traveled anywhere. So those are the, all the questions that are included in that wellness check. I'm pretty much sure from a symptom and a contact standpoint that you have not come in contact in any way with COVID. The next thing we're going to do is say, okay, you can come to the front door and you're going to be greeted with a screener that's going to be dressed like this. The screener is going to have uh, gloves on, they'll have a, a face shield, a mask, some protective goggles, uh, and, and a gown. Okay, and then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is once we appreciate the front door, we're gonna provide several ways of you sanitizing. First thing we're gonna ask you to do is to drop your cell phone in the UV sanitizer. So we're gonna demonstrate the screening process now. Okay, so I called uh, our patient here to the front door and said it's okay to come. I'm gonna ask you to drop your cell phone in a bag or drop your cell phone. Okay, so cell phone's being sterilized. It takes about a minute to do that. While that's being done, I'm gonna go ahead and take our patient's temperature. We have an infrared thermometer, which we won't be uh, touching the patient and see what we can. Okay, I know her temp is a less than 100.0. So she has no temperature. I checked her wellness screen. I know she's okay. Next thing we're going to do is provide you with sanitizer. Okay, we've already asked our patient to leave all personal effects in the car other than cell phone. So no purses, no gloves, no uh, nothing else to be brought into the center. Now from this point, it's going to be a contactless experience. So I'm gonna escort you to our treatment room. Come right this way. And our entire facility prior to reopening has been disinfected. In addition to our thorough disinfecting of the facility throughout the day using the double disinfection, not only with wiping, but with also using uh, UV sterilization. So as you as you might notice, the patient's gonna I'm gonna skirt the patient down the hallway, and you'll see they come come, come right into this room. You see our staff has already sanitized the room. We have it indicated by sign. If the room a patient previously is occupied, the room needs to be sanitized. We'll have stop here on the door. But we know that this room has been sanitized and it's safe for our patient to come in. You can sit down here at the chair. And then we have a patient policy, which is no patient sees another patient. So you'll basically be in your own space, which has been disinfected for you. We'll keep the door closed. You won't have any close contact with other patients. The only people you come in contact with us is as care providers. Please keep your mask on at all times. Our patient's now in the treatment room, has her mask on, and is now ready to be seen. Here in the room, we're in a disinfected space. If we were going to perform a treatment, for example, if she, we would ask you again, keep your mask on. 
Uh, say, for example, our patient wanted Botox in the forehead and the crow's feet, we would not even need to remove the mask for that kind of treatment. But if we're doing a treatment in the area around the mouth or an examination, we would ask you to remove your mask temporarily, the treatment will be performed, and then you'll reapply your mask. When the procedure is completed, all interaction from that point in terms of scheduling your follow-up appointment, um, handling uh, payment, handling uh, further follow-up visits, etc., all can be done through a contactless method. So we have um, our website portal and all those interactions can be done. Once you're done with your procedure, we'll escort you out of the treatment room uh, to the waiting area and back out through the, through the hallway. So follow me this way. Once the treatment's been performed in the room, we know to indicate stop that this room needs to be disinfected. Nobody will be allowed to enter the room. Put the stop sign on. The patient will be taken out of the facility. No longer will we be using checkout or check-in. Checkout process will be done in the room. We'll escort you out through the front door. And we won't be letting in other patients while other patients are being escorted out. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye.